Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Nice to see you all here. Uh, today we are having a very special day. Uh, we have come here uh, to summarize our successful uh, efforts and our successful, um, you know, uh, tries uh, to study and to practice English. So during four months we have been practicing English skills. Mostly we were oriented on business topics. So we were learning how to write a successful resume, how to, uh, how to uh, be successful during the interview. We studied how to uh, use language during negotiations. Uh, also, we practiced our skills in presentations. Uh, we were writing emails, uh, both official and unofficial. Uh, so, today we came here to present our final projects. So, welcome everyone. And uh, today it's a great honor for me uh, to welcome our guests that are present here at our gathering. Uh, first of all, let me introduce the uh, representative of British Council of Ukraine, Yulia Sobol, who is educational manager. <coughs> and uh, our director of the project office, uh, Ms. Ina uh, Pakolova, uh, and uh, the director of scientific and educational uh, Institute of Business and Innovative Technologies, Ms. Kachyanka Arina. Uh, so, and uh, also we have a guest today who will make a presentation. Uh, Mr. Alexander Ustian, you are welcome to our conference. So, uh, let's get started. First of all, uh, I invite Ms. Yulia Sobol to say some nice words to all our participants. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> uh, thank you, uh, Ms. Valentina. It's um, a great pleasure for me to be here. Actually, as it was mentioned, I'm Yulia Sobol, a manager at the British Council. And uh, uh, here today, we are at the final event of your English club at university. I know I've heard some good things about how it's been, been going, so I'm, it is, I'm very curious now to find out by myself uh, what you've been doing, what is the outcome of, of your uh, studies now. Um, <clears throat> and of course, I wish we could all see each other face to face and talk to each other, maybe and then have some coffee and five o'clock tea uh, when it finishes. <laughs> but um, uh, the situation is that if we can do it now, we can celebrate the achievements this way. But so I hope when it finishes, you will get yourself some coffee or five o'clock tea. And uh, maybe one day we will meet uh, together. But anyway, I think even in this situation, we can be looking for some opportunities, yes, for some uh, uh, interesting uh, things um, that we find. And of course, uh, um, the circumstances learn, uh, teach us something, something new. So it's maybe a new format for you to present your ideas, your projects uh, online. Um, and this, that's a good uh, thing as well. So let me just briefly tell, me, uh, tell you why I am here. So, English part is part of uh, English club is part of the Creative Spark program, and it's been implemented by the British Council. Uh, Creative Spark program, I think you, you've heard about it. If not, <laughs> then it's a five-year program which supports institutional partnerships and development of students' enterprise skills. In Ukraine, there are thirteen universities and eleven organizations that are working in the program. And apart from the enterprise programs, Creative Spark partners can offer students to improve their business English skills through uh, British Council certifi certified programs and uh, English clubs. And actually, there are only two universities in Ukraine that, were, that got this accent, uh, access to English club. And your university, Poltava University for Economics and Trade, is one of them. So I think this is a good sign. And in fact, your university has been very active uh, in different, actively involving in different initiatives uh, offered by the British Council. 
For example, when we had an idea to find a program champions who would help us to build a network of partners to disseminate pro uh, program results, um, your university has been very proactive in this case and showed real commitment, desire to work in this. So thank you for this and thank you for your commitment. I think as students, you uh, should be proud of your university that it participates in such big scale uh, international programs. And uh, so now we are here as the result of your participation in Creative Spark program. And I hope that the knowledge that you got uh, will be uh, useful and will be helpful for you, not only during your studies, but actually afterwards, when you finish your university, the business skills that you get, it's not only English skills, but also business skills that you get that will be very useful uh, for you to get a, a good job, to go to uh, abroad or to reach uh, success in your life. And, uh, uh, and I know that uh, having been working in an international organization, I know, I know how important it is to speak English, to know, to have business skills, to be able to present in English, to be able to uh, hold negotiations, to uh, debates in English. So I'm very curious to see how you do today, how you present it today. And so wish you all good luck. Uh, we are not judges here. We are not, uh, we don't, uh, we are not going to criticize you. Uh, we just really want to see your achievements, your success. Uh, so good luck to you. And um, I'm really pleased to be here to participate in this event. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for such kind words. Uh, so, and now I invite our director of uh, the Institute of Business and Innovative Technologies, uh, Alina Sergeyevna, will you say us some words, please? Yes, of course. Dear students, it's really great pleasure for me to see you today. Of course, I would like to see you face to face, but unfortunately, we can't do it uh, today. But uh, in any case, I would uh, like to stress that all your uh, activity uh, will be mentioned in your diploma. Uh, and uh, this uh, course uh, will be mentioned at your diploma too. So it's very important uh, for you uh, and it's a great um, advantage for you, uh, your uh, English skills, and I'm sure that these skills will be very important uh, in your life, in your business activity and uh, in other sphere of your life. Uh, also, I am um, very grateful for British, uh, the British Council for uh, such opportunities for our students. Because really, when I was a student, um, we didn't have uh, a lot of opportunities for uh, self-development. But uh, today, our students uh, have it, and it's very important. So, uh, good luck and have a nice meeting today. Thank you. Thank you. And, um... Please forgive me, I have forgotten to mention today that we, uh, we mostly will speak English today, but our meeting is bilingual. So, uh, right now we are going to have a presentation uh, well, in which will be given to you in Ukrainian uh, to make sure you understand everything and follow everything. So, I invite... Uh, the manager of Project Creative Spark, uh, Alexandru Stian, who will present the competition, which is called Big Idea Challenge. Yeah, welcome. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to open the screen and start my presentation. Maybe you've already heard about конкурс, міжнародний конкурс Video Pitch в Big Idea Challenge. Можливо, до вас вже доходила ця інформація, але я тут, щоб ще раз нагадати, що така чудова можливість є, вона відкрита для вас, і ви ще можете взяти в ній участь. Що таке конкурс Big Idea Challenge? Це міжнародний конкурс Video Pitch, який спрямований на підтримку стартапів в сфері креативних індустрій, які організовує London Metropolitan University. Ну і, відповідно, локальним організатором цього конкурсу в Полтаві є наш університет. Загалом це міжнародний конкурс, який охоплює всі країни партнерства Creative Spark. 
і це такий конкурс міжнародного рівня. Важлива деталь, оскільки цей конкурс спрямований на розвиток креативних стартапів старих креативних індустрій, варто розуміти, що є креативними індустріями в Україні. На цьому слайді ви бачите переліки діяльності, які згідно українського законодавства відносяться до креативних індустрій. Тому, власне, стартапи, які беруть участь в даному конкурсі, мають якимось чином мати відношення до перелічних видів діяльності. Це може бути комбінування якоїсь іншої сфери, але повинен бути елемент культурної або креативної, або високотехнологічної, щоб вони були доцільні до участі в конкурсі. В конкурсі Big Idea Challenge є чотири категорії. Це категорія цифрові технології, в яких можуть брати участь стартапи зі сфери високих технологій. Це категорія соціальний вплив, в якій можуть брати участь проєкти соціальної направленності. Це креатив, де може бути ідея будь-якої креативної спрямовитості. Та категорія кліматичні зміни, відповідно, проєкти якої спрямовані на зміни навчадливого споживання, альтернативні джерел енергії, все, що стосується захисту клімату. Чому варто взяти участь в цьому конкурсі цьогоріч? Тому що цей конкурс передбачає дуже цікаві призи. По-перше, варто значити, що є, оскільки чотири категорії, будуть переможці в всіх чотирьох категоріях. Також буде переможець по лінії глядацьких симпатій і буде загальний чемпіон. А призи в цьому конкурсі наступні. Country Category Winners отримує бізнес-підтримку від London Metropolitan University, яка передбачає курс менторства протягом кількох місяців, на якому фахівці бізнес-акселератору цього університету будуть допомагати тим, хто отримав дану підтримку, в реалізації, в допрацюванні їхніх ідей. Country Champion, тобто переможець, країни отримує грошовий приз у розмірі 2000 фунтів, участь в стартап Sprint Program, яка цьогоріч, на жаль, відбудеться онлайн у зв'язку з пандеміями, протягом якої, це буде кінець літа, початок осені, протягом тижня команди отримують такий заряд і переосмислені ідеї від, знову ж таки, фахівців London Metropolitan University стосовно своїх бізнес-ідей і, відповідно, аналогічну підтримку від London Metropolitan University. People Choice Ukraine, тобто це переможець, який отримує приз для дасських симпатій, отримує бізнес-підтримку від університету, про яку говорилось раніше. Також будуть визначені переможці міжнародного рівня серед усіх країн партнерства. Буде International People Choice, який отримує грошовий приз та аналогічну підтримку як Country Champion і буде визначений Grand Champion, який буде абсолютний чемпіон між усіма партнерствами. Такий чемпіон був уже з України в 2019 році, тому у вас також є можливість позмагатися за ці призи. Де можна отримати інформацію щодо конкурсу? Це на офіційному сайті конкурсу Creative Spark Big Idea UK, також на відповідній сторінці на сайті Poet, також ми розміщуємо всю інформацію на своїй сторінці Creative Spark Полтава. Хто може взяти участь у конкурсі? Є кілька ключових обмежень для участі в конкурсі. Це, по-перше, вікові обмеження від 18 до 35 років. Обов'язково учасники повинні мати громадянство України. Всі учасники команди мають володіти на відповідному рівні англійської мови що є, звісно, не проблемою для тих, хто тут зібрався, а для вас, для учасників. Також учасники повинні мати досвід участі в інших заходів Creative Spark, оскільки ви є учасниками цього заходу. Ви вже, в принципі, є бенефіціарем проєкту Creative Spark, і у вас є повна можливість зібрати участь в цьому конкурсі. В конкурсі беруть участь одноосібні учасники та команди до чотирьох осіб, тому ви можете групуватися, команди, якщо у вас ідея передбачається. Є наступні обмеження. Один учасник може брати участь лише в одній команді і подаватися з однією ідеєю. Ну і минулорічні учасники також можуть брати участь в конкурсі, але з іншою ідеєю. 
Реєстрація для участі в конкурсі проста. Для того, щоб взяти участь в конкурсі, треба відзняти свій піч на англійській мові. Що таке відеопіч? Це відеоролик, якому ви презентуєте свою ідею тривалістю до 60 секунд. Коли ви відзняли свій відеопіч, ви завантажите його на YouTube. Капітан команди проходить реєстрацію на сайті конкурсу. Якщо в команді кілька осіб, то інші члени команди також там мають підтвердити свою участь в команді. І все, і ви прийняті для участі в конкурсі. Ключові дати. Реєстрація учасників з пічами, з подачі заявок завершується 7 травня. Тому, якщо у вас є ідея, ви можете подаватись, до, але бажано раніше, не до 7 травня, до участі в конкурсі. І потім будуть визначені номінанти від інституції партнерів, тому що коли учасники подаються на конкурс, вони зазначають, яка інституція їх номінувала, потім інституція проводить відбір учасників на національний відбір і подає своїх номінантів. Після того будуть оголошені фіналісти національних конкурсів і, відповідно, далі будуть йти далі визначення переможців іншого вищого рівня. Потім це будуть голосування за переможців глядацьких симпатій, в липні будуть оголошені переможці по категоріям, по тим чотирим категоріям, які я перелічував, переможець країни, переможець глядацьких симпатій і міжнародний плеж глядацьких симпатій. Ну і у вересні буде оголошений міжнародний переможець категорії Гранд Чемпіон. З особливостей, які я ще хочу підтвердити, ми другий рік беремо участь у цьому конкурсі. Минулого року у нас також були учасники, деякі з цих учасників, ми горді з того, що вони а, дійсно запустили свої проекти, вони їх комерціалізували, а, деякі проекти дещо видозмінилися, але вони успішно працюють на сьогодні. Зокрема, це проект «Невинний», який передбачає виробництво і продаж подарунків з винною тематикою. Це авторське виробництво «Худі з українською символікою ідентичність», це відеостудія «Как там продакшн» та алгоритм «Керамік», що є авторською студією з виробництва гончарних виробів. Ще одна можливість, яка відкрита для вас сьогодні. Ви можете, звісно, податись на конкурс «Відеопідчів» самостійно, пройшовши всі етапи, які були перелічені. Можете звернутися до нас за допомогою. Але у вас є сьогодні ще така можливість, як взяти участь у фінальному наборі на нашу програму менторської підтримки, яка завершується, не більш завершується 15 квітня. Анкету я зараз скину в чат. Якщо у вас є зацікавленість, ви можете заповнити анкету, і ми вас долучимо до цієї програми. Що передбачає собою менторська підтримка? Ми за кожним учасником закріпляємо ментора який допомагає учаснику за потреби фіналізувати свою бізнес-ідею, описати бізнес-модель, бізнес-концепцію, і потім також за необхідності допомагаємо правильно розставити акценти, щоб сформувати цікавий, сильний відеопіч. Тому, якщо вас зацікавило, будь ласка, доєднуйтесь. Якщо у вас є додаткові запитання, у вас є контакти Інни Володимирівни Пахомової, ви, напевно, знаєте про сторінку Creative Spark Полтава, де ми висвітлюємо всі події. Тому, якщо у вас є зацікавленість, будь ласка, долучайтеся, готові відповідати на додаткові питання, готові допомогти за потреби. Якщо є питання, можу відповісти, якщо ні, то завершую свою презентацію. Посилання на анкету з менторської підтримки зараз продублюю в чат. Дякую. Thank you very much. Uh, dear participants, if you have questions, you can send them in chat. First of all, uh, the other, uh, if you are not ready with questions right now, uh, you can uh, send your questions to our Telegram group and I promise you that all your questions will be delivered. Okay, so and now uh, we are coming to the big point of our today's event. Now we are going to start presenting our final project. Uh, as far as uh, I know that Vitalina is uh, in a hurry, uh, so Vitalina will give you the opportunity to start. Uh, please, 
uh, you are welcome to present your project. And uh, by the way, all the participants can share the screen. Do you know how to share the screen? Uh, yes, uh, I, I can try. <laughs> try, yes. You can see how. Yes, it works. It's great. Please press. You, can, you can hear me? Yes, we hear you. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. First, uh, let me introduce myself. I am Viterina Serbin. I'm a, a, stu a student of Poltava University of Economics and Trade. I stud I'm a third year student. I study management. Uh, today, I'm going to speak uh, about an uh, important topic for me. It's time management. Okay. Uh, my presentation will not be long. Um, I will take only five minutes of your time. Outline. What is time management, basic components, and, and conclusion? Okay. Uh, time management, uh, a set of techniques for optimal organization. Uh, organization to perform uh, current tasks, projects, and uh, calendar events. And calendar events. Uh, initially, management was attributed only for, uh, to business or employment, but uh, over time, uh, but over time, the term has expanded to include personal activities. The time management system uh, is a combination of processes, tools, uh, techniques, and uh, myth and myth uh, methods. Uh, routine time, routine time management is necessary necessity uh, in the development of any project as it determines the time of project's completion and scale. Each system has um, its own key blocks and rules of uh, operation. Time management as a practice of managing one's time also has basic components that must uh, work in an uh, integrated way. Uh, okay, now uh, let's start. Speak uh, about uh, my part of my presentation. It's basic components. These are planning and goal setting, setting priorities and uh, deadlines for each task, um, analysis of time resources, costs, compiling list, compiling lists, self organization and delegation, exclusions uh, of unnecessary tasks. Okay. Uh, in general, time management is a set of tools of tools and methods necessary for everyone who wants to manage their life, be productive and just happy. Thank you for your attention. If you have some questions, you can ask me. Okay, thank you very much, Vitalina. Uh, just now, dear participants, uh, if you have questions or probably you have some uh, comments or you have feedback you are welcome to share um, moreover you are encouraged to do that i like it uh, italina i really like it your presentation because uh, you choose very good topic uh, we uh, everyone needs uh, time management in business uh, and uh, everyday uh, life so uh, thank you for your presentation um, so I also want to share my opinion. Uh, you had a lot of great work uh, and uh, your presentation was really good. And I want to ask uh, uh, why it is pers process so personally 
uh, my personal view, like you choose this time management. Uh, it was some personal pro uh, personal issues or something like that. Uh, what uh, task I I uh, use in my life? You mean? Uh, yes. How to use it in your life, in your personal life? It's uh, planning uh, in uh, um, my uh, notebook, my diary. It's something look like this. I planning uh, my week. And this uh, helped me to be uh, very um, productive and uh, and doing uh, everything that I want in my day. It's uh, planning in uh, my diary. Probably not only want, but also need to do, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Now, please, let's go on. And uh, now, uh, Zhenia Limik is invited to present her final project. Okay. Zhenia, try to share your screen. Yes. Do you see my presentation? Yes, we see. Probably. Uh -huh. Yes, that's it. Okay. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. My name is Evgenia Olinik. I am a first year student of Poltava University Economic and Trade. I am a philology student. And first of all, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to take part in uh, such an important project from the British Council. And uh, let's start with my presentation. Today we talk about the translation agency Rainbow. First of all, uh, we talk about the purpose of creating an agency, then about the service uh, we provide, and finally about the languages we work with. My presentation will take only five minutes of your time. If you have any question, you can ask them at the end of my presentation. Today, it is important to study foreign languages. Uh, however, it's not possible to learn all languages, so you will need uh, the services of our translation agency. First of all, it's the popularity of foreign languages. And um, the next is uh, uh, needed for translation. And uh, the last, uh, the last uh, purpose is uh, lack of certain knowledge and skills in people. Uh, the second point of uh, our presentation is the services that you can use in our agency. There are written translation of text and document of text on various uh, topics, uh, interpretation service for events, simultaneous translation and other service. And the last point of my Zhenya, we can't hear you. Zhenya, are you here? I'm sorry, but probably Zhenya has lost connection. Zhenya. Okay, sorry for technical problems. Uh, yes, yes, that's it. I'm sorry, uh, as soon as uh, Zhenya again gets access to our uh, conference, probably she will go on with your presentation. I'm, uh -huh, Zhenya is here. Sorry, things do happen. Okay. 
unfortunately, Zhenya, do you hear us? I'm sorry, don't know what's happened. Uh huh. Uh, can I uh, continue with our presentation? Sure, I sure, please, uh, please do it. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I finish, uh, we only heard about the services that your agency is going to provide. Okay. So, uh, and uh, what about language? Uh, it's the last point of my presentation, the languages which, uh, with which our agency works, such as uh, Turkish, English, of course, uh, German, uh, Russian, Spanish, Italian, and uh, maybe Serbian, if you want, uh, also other European language. Uh, in conclusion, I want to emphasize uh, the importance of learning foreign languages. Uh, I think it's uh, broadened our outlook and reach our mind. And uh, however, if you have certain problems with translation, we will definitely help you. Thank you for your attention. If you have a question, please ask me. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, dear participants, you are welcome to ask questions or you are encouraged to uh, comment? I want to encourage Anya because, uh, uh, um, first of all, uh, the idea of uh, for language schools is um, very popular nowadays, and I think it will be very popular uh, in future. And also, I'm interested that you choose uh, not um regular languages it's not like english german and french but also serbian uh spanish italian and uh, it's a lot of languages okay uh in our um university popular also turkish uh, when our students uh, go move on uh, practice in this uh, country uh they need uh, to translate um, translate some documents and uh, i think it's uh, uh, this uh, language uh, also need for us okay thank you very much any other comments or questions i also have a question uh, Jenya, why is uh, the agency called uh, Rainbow? Is it uh, some abbreviation or uh, is it uh, like uh, just a funny named <laughs> positive song? Uh, I, well, first of all, it's uh, very uh, funny because uh, name uh, play a very important role it's uh, not a variation okay thank you very much good um uh, so thank you Zhenya. thank you for your uh, presentation right now mm -hmm. i invite susurin vlad to present and nastya uh, uh Alex, you get ready please okay uh, yeah one second i will share my screen yeah, do you see my presentation? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Vlad. I'm a second year student of marketing speciality, and today I prepared a short presentation. It will take not more than uh, three minutes of your time, and everybody is invited to ask questions at the end of the presentation. The topic of my presentation is an app for learning language, which is called uh, NetFilms. Uh, I will tell you about the uh, uh, main idea of this project, how it may be used, and the difference from other apps for learning language. Uh, at first, uh, first uh, I want to say that the main idea of this app is making a more popular and more comfortable process of learning foreign languages through watching films. Because lots of people who want to watch films in native language often face to some problems, namely uh, inaccessibility of subtitles and difficulty in finding films in a good quality. Users of this app will not face these problems and I'm going to tell you why. Um, so how it works. There are two main functions of this app. 
player uh, for watching films with filter by genres and uh, with uh, search panel and the dictionary. When user starts the app, um, he can choose any film for watching in native language. Uh, if he faces with different unknown word, he can he could tap on this uh, word and see translation. Also, uh, he always can fill dictionary with uh, unknown words without watching films. At the third point of my presentation, I want to tell you about differences from other apps uh, for learning language. There are lots of similar apps which specialize in uh, learning foreign languages by music, by quiz, uh, with special emphasis on grammar, but there are no apps which uh, would be specializing in uh, learning by watching films. Uh, in summary, I want to mention that this app will be interesting and useful for people who want to watch films in native language and also it has its own features which make it different from other similar apps. Uh, so thank you for your attention. I will be glad to hear some feedback from you. Okay, thank you Vlad for your presentation. Uh, right now, please, uh, what questions have you got or probably any uh, feedback? It was a very short but clear presentation. Uh -huh. I would like and exact. Welcome, Elena. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. I would like to tell that uh, this idea, idea of Vlad, is very interesting, especially for me because I am interested in uh, learning and teaching English. So it's rather difficult today to find uh, some films in English. So this idea is perfect. Yes, thank you for your presentation. Okay. I would like to ask a question, if I may. Welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, Vlad, thank you for the presentation. It was very good, short, brief, some, uh, something that I really like. But I have a question about the copyright. I think it is very important when producing an app which uses uh, films, uh, having the copyrights for, that, for using the films. How would you be dealing with that? Mm. Right. Uh, what, what what do you mean exactly? Uh, you there there are rights to use films. Yes. So like uh, to you should have a license to uh, to show this movies to show yeah, films to other people. Of course, uh, we, uh, we must uh, uh, find the uh, license of put for uh, every film because uh, uh, we can't. Uh, uh, we can't uh, uh, follow the other uh, markets uh, if uh, we used uh, only a pirate uh, versions of <clears throat> films and subtitles. Okay. So it may be I have a one. good for thought <laughs> how to deal with the license. Okay, Vlad. So you see, uh, thank you for uh, such a for such a tip because uh, uh, you thought about general ideas of the project, but probably you will have to think about details, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. Any other questions? Um, yeah, I have a question. It is only for English. Mm, at first, yes, but. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, will become bigger yeah uh, we will uh, find films in uh, french language german and other for example uh, turkish yeah. but first um, english, english okay okay thank you thank you now well, let's move to the second presenter to no to the next presenter not second so Nastya Alexiev is going to present okay. your project, please. Okay, I will try to share my screen. Welcome. Uh, see, uh, can you see it? Uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, I will try to share it. Пока uh, слайда. I know. Uh -huh. um, Mm. Moment. Mm. Uh -huh. 
I can just uh, do it like this. Uh -huh. It doesn't work, right? Okay. Mm, yeah, it uh, something happened. Okay. Okay. okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anastasia Alexeyuk. I am a student of Poltava University of Economics and Trade. And now I'm going to present you my final uh, British Council Creative Spark project. Uh, my speech will be not more than five minutes. Please ask me question, questions after the presentation. Uh, my uh, project is a game application and firstly i'll briefly explain the essence of this game secondly i'll mention about target audience for whom it is intended and at the end i'm going to tell you about the game uh, a bit more detail so let's start the idea is um, to create a video game with stylish graphics and uh, exciting plot and will include not only online but also offline quests. Uh, a game will be a motivator to do some self-care. For example, it uh, will have a quest to drink three glasses of water per day or to meet with friends or to learn something new. Um, it will have a list of useful books, articles to read, films to watch, like playlists to listen. Uh, every day the game will send supportive and positive words. Of course, it will be connected with plot and after a couple of successful quests uh, will be unlocked some features, for example, video or series that connected with plot. Uh, the uh, target clients will be mostly teenagers and adult people. Nowadays it is important um, every day learn something more but also don't forget about rest and self-care especially teenagers and adults need it because we live in a really stressful world uh, the game will uh, interchange activities and rest days and um, need only um, 30 minutes of attention it is more like jack uh, but with plot for teenagers, for teenagers and adults, it will be a good enticement. And um, a bit more detail about the game. Of course, uh, it's um, random uh, pictures uh, from, for example, Genshin Impact. Uh, so it's not connected with, with this game. It's like an example. Of course, a game will use advertisement is it is free version. Mostly it will be context add in case um, not be distracted too much, but also to guess with consumers' preferences. There are, will be also some additional materials. It will be paid podcast, film or book uh, that are not obligatory, but can help to sort out and lesson more. Uh, there will be also some quests with winning promo codes and temporary discounts. Uh, in paid version, consumer can have these additional materials for free and um, uh, take more promo codes. Uh, all user data is strictly confidential. The game support service have to, uh, has to fix regularly all possible mistakes, uh, more functions, and make sure there is no data leak. Uh, a game will combine the fun functions of the smartphone game, tracker, reader, educational application, and blog. Moreover, unlike other educational apps, uh, this game will be more loyal for users because of rest and relaxed days and more concentrated on users' comfort and courage of care procedures. And um, we're talking about licensed rights. Uh, all um, his books, um, all uh, materials will be licensed. We will connect with maybe some um, bookshops or ebooks, uh, electronic bookshops, uh, some um, another apps uh, to um, redirect uh, our consumers to them also. Uh, so that's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Nastya. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, please, participants, you are invited to ask questions or to comment. 
We would like to hear your feedback. May I come in? Welcome, yeah. welcome. I have the following question to you. Uh, first of all, thank you, Anastasia, for your presentation. And I have a question to you is the following. Uh, why have you chosen this idea? Why are you interested in, in, uh, in uh, building and developing such kind of app? Um, okay, first of all, I should say that uh, the idea of this project was co uh, come to me when I do the international business project uh, uh, task. And uh, uh, firstly, I am interested in some arts and I know that um, uh, pretty games with uh, uh, good graphics are such popular between my um, some uh, friends uh, that are as teenagers as adults uh, and also um, I focus this game on self-care because I understand that um, it is also that we need now and I think it will be interesting if it is connected with plot. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? So thank you, Nastya. Thank you. And right now, I invite uh, Elena Ilchenka to speak. And uh, the next person to get ready is Vika Pulak, please. OK? So welcome, Elena. OK, let me open my presentation. So can you see it? Uh, yes, so we see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Elena Ilchenko. I am a fourth year student of Poltava University of Economics and Trade. I study philology. Um, I'm going to tell you about my idea of uh, creative private school. Um, in short, Today, I will speak about the um, influence of creating teaching technologies on the people's ability to absorb, to remember, and to use English, English language knowledges. Yes. And uh, then about uh, an innovative method uh, as, uh, that I use during my own lessons is just example. Yes. My presentation will uh, take only five minutes of your time and uh, you are welcome to ask questions at the end so let's start first of all i want to assure you that the interactive form of learning uh, helps to achieve some amazing results uh, children are tired of usual lessons uh, with uh, word dictations and very difficult theory it's better to use some interesting games maybe exercises and um, uh, all these conclusions uh, I made according to my own experience. Uh, I have been working as a tutor for two years. I'm working with kids mostly and uh, I try to make their studying process more effective and uh, interesting. So, uh, secondly, I want to present you one of my methods. Uh, this activity helps to learn lots of uh, interesting words, new words, and uh, this process is very easy. So I use um, the twister game. You need to make a filter consisting of uh, some words that you need to teach your children um, instead of colors. Besides, they are learning the words like right hand, left hand, and so on. And uh, so children, to draw the conclusion, I would like to say that children are our future and it's very important to invest uh, only the best things in them. Also, it's lots of responsibility because you are a teacher, it needs something. And uh, because of that, I took part in the Creative Spark Speaking Club. It was uh, a very interesting experience for me. And uh, I hope in future I will open my own school with an interactive form of uh, studying. Thank you for attention and you are welcome to ask questions. Uh, thank you, Elena, for such an interesting presentation. Uh, I hope our participants have questions or comments, please. 
Yes, I have, uh, because oh, well. I have two children, and that is why for me it's very interesting topic. Uh, first of all, dear Elena, uh, what is your opinion about uh, distance learning for little children, and maybe uh, your opinion about some interactive methods uh, in uh, distance learning for children? Uh, maybe some games, online games. I would like uh, to know your opinion about it. Um, yes, I try to teach my children using the lab my laptop and using the skype but uh, not so young i would like to try this uh, but uh, i need to prepare very well because um, i need to find some games in the web yes and uh, i think it can be i think it is a, a good idea but uh, in the lessons face to face it's more Efficient, effectively for me, yes. And uh, one, uh, one small uh, question, please. Uh, for uh, for which age is your school? I, I don't understand from your presentation. Uh -huh. which age uh, school? Yes, um, my school will be made for children um, about uh, three years uh, to even the higher school maybe yes it, it can be thank you Parker. thank you any other questions i have welcome okay um, tell me please what do you do if your students don't listen to you oh, <laughs> it's very interesting um um Exactly, I um, didn't have such experience that my children are um, very nosy and uh, don't want to listen to me, but um, something like that it was. <laughs> so I am trying to uh, interest them in some way. Maybe I am using some toys, some songs, dancing. I just uh, trying to I just to try and I'm just trying to make some interest of them. Yes. Thank you for answer. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, Elena. Uh, right now, let's go to and let go on and invite the other speaker, uh, Vika. You are invited to present your project. Please. Yeah. Hello, everyone. At the very beginning, I want to inform you that I have um, some problems with my laptop. So I asked uh, my friend Diana to help me. So she will share her screen with my presentation and I will share the information with you. Um, let's start. So my name is Vika. I'm a first year student of Pratt and I'm a philologist. So today I want to present um, a fascinating idea, as I think. Uh, next slide, please, Diana. Uh, this idea is uh, connected uh, with reading, and I think um, it will be very interesting, especially if you are uh, interested in books, in reading, and in this stuff. So next slide, please. Nowadays, uh, we are living in such a world when books are not so necessary. Um, we may get the information in different formats from different sources, for example, in audio format, from the electronic sources, um, from the websites, or with the help um, of gadgets. For example, if my younger sister doesn't know something, she may, also, she may always ask uh, Google to help her, and he uh, will do it. So, next slide, please. Uh, people say that uh, books are the sources of knowledge. If you want to be clever and wise, read books. So I have the idea how to spread the habit of reading among people, especially among uh, young generation. So next slide. Let me introduce uh, the new concept of coffee. First of all, it's unusual coffee from my point of view. Uh, next, please. Uh, its speciality is the combination of coffee and library. Uh, 
uh, this idea is not completely new because um, the similar one is located in Kyiv and its name is Imbir. Uh, and uh, you know, when I was searching the information about such a type of uh, cafes, um, I found that there are some of them abroad, for example, in the USA. So, uh, next slide, please. The name of cafe uh, I want to present you will be Life. Uh, it is the combination of the first letters from the word library and the last letters from the word cafe. Uh, next slide. Uh, now I want you to imagine the cozy and friendly atmosphere of uh, life that is completely different from the library. Uh, it's not like in the library's reading hall where you want, for example, to have a cup of coffee when you, you while you are reading and it's forbidden, or even you want to have a snack. Um, while turning over the page of the book and it's also forbidden. Um, it's, uh, it's normal, it's okay, because a library is not um, the um, relaxing zone. It's the area for serial study. So, next please. Uh, but uh, this cafe is another cup of uh, tea. Here you may have your favorite cappuccino made for, by the best barista um, and uh, read your favorite book. Here you may relax and have a chat with your friend um, uh, in the meantime. Uh, so um, you may order a snack even if you uh, want to eat and to read. Um, so here you may do everything you want in order uh, to feel comfortable, to enjoy reading, to enjoy spending time. So next slide. Um, on this slide, you may see some examples um, of uh, such cafes or um, how the life may look. Click two more times. Yeah. And one more. So, next, please. Uh, in addition, in the library of this cafe, people uh, will find um, different books uh, from famous poets of ancient times to modern writers. Uh, books will be also presented in different genres, uh, from classic to horror, for example. So every person may find something for their own interest, and uh, every person um, may uh, spend a good time in this place. So next slide, please. And the next point I want to present you is the um, discount system. Our visitor may bring um, their books. In such a way, they may create their own collection of books even. For every bought a book, the visitor can uh, get a bonus, 5% discount. For every third book, um, the person gets a free coffee. Uh, I believe that uh, such a place will write the amount of reading people, will attract um, people to come to this place, to enjoy reading, uh, to spread um, their thoughts about this place, about reading, and uh, to share their, um, their habits, their hobbies. So um, here you may combine the good with the better and enjoy. So next. Uh, to conclude, I may say that um, I believe in such a way people will write the amount of read books. Uh, the number of interesting thoughts in their minds will, uh, also will also rise. So I hope their life may help to spread the habit of reading among the young generation, especially, as I said, um, who take books to their hand more and more seldom, unfortunately. Moreover, uh, I think that it will be a great place for those uh, who like reading. So, I um, may invite you to come to this place and um, I hope you will like it if it will exist in our town or in our city, for example. So, next. Thank you for your attention. So, if you want to ask me some question, you are welcome. I am waiting. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for your presentation. I hope uh, the participants have some questions. Do you? Uh, have a question. Do you have uh, several in your life? Uh, you have several uh, copies of some books, for example, or not only one 
a book and uh, or some several. If I want, for example, if I want to uh, read the book that I see that read other customer, can I ask? Uh, oh, I think that um, um, it uh, <laughs> it is impossible. Of course, uh, I even think that um, if you are want if you want to read the book of um, of the person who is, for example, sitting next to you and you are not um, not acquainted, yes, um, you may. Uh, make even a new friends here and uh, share books, share thoughts, share interests and something like this. I also have a question. Uh, thank you, Vika, for a very interesting presentation. Uh, but uh, how uh, are you going to um, collect the books uh, you uh, want to buy, maybe collect from uh, friends uh... um thank you for a question i think that um it uh, will be not a problem because um at home i have uh, um, a great amount of different books first of all and then uh, of course i will buy some you uh, some uh, maybe um uh, some books uh, from modern writers uh, so something like this will will be this is very cool thank you thank okay you. can i i'd like to add to maybe for you uh, to your idea that you can organize in a cafe like that you can organize book crossing when uh, readers bring their own books and they can exchange them uh, them for books that are already there or people who have like lots of books at home don't know what to do with them they, they've already read them all so they can bring them to the cafe leave them there for for example for a cup of coffee yeah thank you i think it will be very interesting and useful mm -hmm. thank you no more questions uh not a question uh i think i like your idea and it would be great uh, to see such a coffee in our city and i believe in uh, you and i think that in uh, five years we will drink coffee with interesting book in your coffee okay i hope <laughs> thank you thank you very much ladies for your optimism okay so right now uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, our uh, student who is right now in turkey doing her internship uh, she made some minutes to join our conference just to present her final project i'm speaking about yulia tomienka yulia can you hear us yes i hear you and i can speak with you thank you so much okay we are glad to hear you uh Yul, are you ready to share your uh, final project with us Yes, of course. Uh, will you uh, share your screen? I mean, do you have the uh, presentation? Yes, yes, I will uh, share now. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. First of all, I want to say that I'm really glad to uh, be here that I uh, didn't see to the different problem with it. So um, I'm really glad to uh, share you my presentation. And uh, today I'm going to speak about my project. It's an international restaurant universe. Uh, today we're going to speak. Um, uh, one moment, please. Um, uh, today we're going to speak about the description of the project idea uh, after we will move to the main problem and in the end I will um, uh, say the, uh, to you the propose. And in the end I would like to synthesize of, of it and uh, waiting for your question in the end. So let's start. Um, let's start uh, from the description. Um, I think the project will be definitely help to develop of cost for tourism and uh, tourism in general. Uh, really, for the thousands um, operated the court, uh, events related to the culture of the country and its traditionals, like film, theater, performance, master classes, 
uh, Thema parties and etc. Uh, each month, it's change uh, of countries according to a central criterion. All of these provides good opportunities. Uh, immigrants feel uh, at home. Uh, and the Ukrainians expand their knowledge and uh, immerse themselves in the atmosphere of another uh, society. Uh, what, uh, the, what the main problem of the project solves? Um, in today's world, it's extremely important to be able to communicate with the representatives of the other nations. Um, to, the opening of the intercultural restaurant universe will allow to residents of Poltava or another town uh, to get acquired in detail with the culture futures of different countries, their customs, uh, traditions, etc., without uh, going aboard. And Another, and in the end, I would like to say that my goal to give the people opportunity to travel around the world without living aboard, uh, to board the, the, the Hornidon and communicate with representation of different nations. And I think that in, in other days and out of the world, when we have the pandemic of coronavirus, I think that a good uh, opportunity to travel in uh, without the problem with coronavirus test, with the, um, some um, emergency for your health. So I think that uh, the good opportunity to know about the, uh, a lot of things in the world, a lot of the um, beautiful things in the world, uh, just sitting at home and uh, have a good eat. Uh, so, I will wait for a question if you have it. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Yula, for your uh, presentation. A very interesting idea. Uh, dear participants, your questions, your comments. Actually, the idea is very interesting, isn't that? To have a cafe or a restaurant with, uh, you know, intercultural uh, cuisine that's cool uh i have never traveled for example to some exotic places in the in the world but i can try them at least the food i mean to feel the taste of those places okay ladies and gentlemen do you have questions i guess it is very great idea and um i would like to come <laughs> uh-huh Yulia, you have the first client. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> I would like to wait in for you in my restaurant. <laughs> okay, and uh, just, uh, you know, Yulia, you are just uh, the, only, uh, the only person, the only participant from our uh, group uh, that joined us from such a long distance. So we wish you success and we send you best wishes from Ukraine. Thank you so much. I would like to um, share with you my sari, with my pounds, so and my sea. So come to mine, and I would like to uh, make you funny. <laughs> okay. So we we took all your wishes, and we feel the you know the Turkish sun and the uh, sea breeze. You know. So that's great. Uh, thank you, Yula, for joining us. Uh, right now, let's go on with our presentations. The next person to speak is uh, Diana Zilinko. Diana, you're welcome. Yeah, and uh, the next person uh, who is uh, expected to present is Maria. Maria, get ready, please. Okay, I start. Uh, good afternoon. And first of all, I apologize that uh, I cannot show myself because of some problems. Um, uh, my name is Anna Diana. I'm a fourth year student at Red. And uh, I'm here today to talk to you about how to develop people's language skills by taking them to the English friends and cafe. I got the idea when I saw a similar cafe in my town, but it was created for entertainment purpose only. Uh, that's when I thought, what, uh, why not combine good with the useful? Uh, that is how this idea of uh, English-speaking cafe came into my mind. 
the essence of the kefir is uh, one uh, big entertainment and uh, educational educational venue with lots of uh, like minded people. I think everybody has heard about such kind of cafe, but uh, hardly anyone knows a lot about it. So in uh, my presentation, I'll tell you about it and focus on such aspects, such features of cafe as entertainment education at the same time, admission fees only, freedom of action for visitors, a great number of activities, waiters and trainers, and equities. So uh, first of all, I'd like to give you an overview of this idea. Uh, to put it simply, it's uh, not really a regular cafe either. Uh, the, visitors, the visitor pays for admission and time. Uh, the more hours, the bigger the fee. Uh, there won't be the usual waiters and exclusive cuisine. Instead, a minimal number of dishes and drinks are expected. Uh, this can be small snacks, uh, biscuits, tea, or coffee. Uh, also, uh, visitor, visitors don't have to pay for them, as they have already paid for admission. Uh, they can bring their own food or order it uh, via delivery. Uh, so uh, you can uh, see the logo that I uh, create for this cafe. And the next slide, uh, uh, you can see the zones. Uh, the cafe is organized in such a way that uh, even if visitors come along, uh, they can find uh, friends in the cafe or some, simply join a group of people. And the main rule is uh, to try to speak English only. Uh, the cafe will be divided into a large number of uh, entertainment areas with English classes. Uh, there will be areas such as game zone. Uh, it's uh, consoles, PlayStation, board games, mini golf and others. Uh, literature zone. In some way, it's uh, like literature club where everyone can share their favorite author or even submit their own poem with everyone. Uh, karaoke zone, uh, it's huge selection in the songs will be available. Cinema zone or film zone, uh, watching original movies, TV series and discussing them afterwards. And the next is the relax zone. Here visitors can do whatever they want to communicate with us. Others uh, rest with a group of friends or a cup of tea or coffee, etc. Also, the cafe staff will keep an eye on each area, so if there are any problems or language barrier, uh, they will sort it out. Uh, visitors also have another real opportunity to improve their language skills by enrolling in more in depth English classes. This is another such area in the cafe, uh, the study zone. And this costs uh, will have to be paid for separately. And the last the moment that I want to tell you is the new idea of discounts. Uh, it may seem strange, but the discounts uh, will not apply for the first customers, but rather to those who come here again, uh, they can get it this false. Before they leave, each, uh, to this, uh, each client is given a leaflet uh, with certain English words and phrases on a certain topic. Uh, their task is to loan them, and next time they come, give this leaflet to the cafe worker so that uh, he can check whether they are loan or not. The suggested uh, discounts the cafe can give is 5%, 10%, and 15%. So if uh, a customer can say uh, 5 votes, he will get a 5% discount. If 10 votes, he will get a 10% discount. So I hope the idea of such entertainment education and cafe will achieve success and uh, it will be useful and merely for the visitors and uh, it will be contribute to the development of people's language skills. So that brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your uh, project. Uh, any questions? Any comments? Maybe not question, but maybe some advice. Um, uh, I think it's a good idea to have a, a zone for little children, because as I understand, uh, your um, uh, your project uh, has a very different target audience. That is why zone for children would be very useful. I think about this uh, zones, but. Uh... I also thought that it will be very noisy and I want uh, to uh, 
turned it to a place like a hidden um, garden. <laughs> Because so it, it, it will be very noisy. It uh, because the, uh, children are not so cannot good be fair. Yes, but you, for example, have um, some like outsource and maybe somebody you you can uh, work with somebody who uh, will uh, play with this uh, with, uh, with children. It's very maybe interesting. Yeah, but, but uh, this uh, place considered uh, or uh, concentrated on the young people, on the company, friends, so oh, you can make friends and so on, not for family. It's not family. Okay, so okay. In any right, case, it's project, project, uh, but I think your idea yeah. is good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. So let's move further. And uh, Maria is invited uh, to present her project. Yes. And uh, Yulia Padonis, Yulia, uh, please uh, get ready. You will be the next. Do you hear okay. me? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you see my presentation? Yes, yes, yes. Hello everyone, today I will tell you about my business idea and dream place of rest mushroom. Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Maria, I am a five-year student at Poltava University of Economics and Trade. Today I won't take three minutes of your time. I would like to take this opportunity to talk to you about my business idea. Why I want to create exactly place of rest mushroom, what it should be, prospects and risks. First, I would like to tell you why I want to create exactly place of rest mushroom. We are complexly busy with some scenes and don't always take time to be in nature. This brings me to my idea of what is place of rest in the city. Let's move on to what it should be. It will be place of rest where you can enjoy communication with nature and test delicious, fast and healthy food with mushroom. It might be useful to give a little background here. The main feature will be champignon mushrooms, which are guaranteed to be all year round, as they will grow in the middle of an institution on a foot wall from the leaf plants. The interior mushroom will correspond to the concept of the institution. Geysers will be able to collect mushroom and plants like in the forest field for their future meals and see how your meals are prepared. Moving on to the next point of my presentation, I want to tell you about prospects and risks. Prospects. Mushrooms will be pleased to stand out for its unique guest agents, another institution in the city. People who don't eat animal food will find a lot of delicious things for themselves. Risks. People are accustomed to traditional dishes and restaurant concepts. I offer something unusual. In conclusion, I want to say what this place of rest can become for everyone, not only place of delicious food and uh, beautiful, lovely interior, but also a place of inspiration. Thank you for your attention. I hope you found it interesting. Really, it was interesting, something unusual. Uh, so, guys, do you have questions? Uh, I have a question. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, in what city are you going to organize this this business? What? In what in what city? In what where location? Yeah, in the city, in a big megapolis, uh, uh, you can, uh, I want to make, uh, not cafe, not restaurant, I want to make place of rest uh, in big city, like in uh, Kiev, uh, maybe in Poltava, uh, maybe in another country, <laughs> in big city, I want to uh, make place where you can uh, come and feel uh, uh, what in, uh, what you in uh, maybe in forest uh, in you can be with nature you can see uh, how grow some uh, some mushroom and uh, 
some plants, uh, even you can choose uh, your little mushroom and you can uh, come every day, for example, and um, looking for your mushroom, uh, how it's growing and uh, maybe eat uh, <laughs> after some days. Is it a social project or it's like a business? How do you expect it? Uh, how do mm -hmm. you think about it? I think it uh, can combinate uh, because uh, uh, when I think uh, what I uh, want to make, uh, I think it can be a cafe, but no, I don't want cafe. I want place of rest. And uh, sometimes I have no time to uh, go um, to forest and uh, um, <laughs> looking uh, for uh, some tree, um, uh, looking how grow mushroom, uh, I want to uh, make it in uh, um, city. It can be social because uh, um, you can come. Even uh, maybe I can try uh, some idea. You can put your phone and uh, talking just with nature. But I don't know for sure now. I just think about uh, this idea. Uh, now I bought. Um, uh, some box and I try to uh, grow a uh, mushroom in my home and uh, if I can do it uh, uh, I will try uh, uh, create uh, my idea more with details and uh, make it uh, no just in the paper and presentation I will try to do it uh, in life. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Masha. Thank you for your presentation. Now, uh, Julia, it's your turn. Julia, can you switch yes. on your presentation, please? And uh, uh, Taya Popovich, Taya, do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. You will be the next year. Get ready, please. Okay. Um, do you do you can see my yes we see we see your presentation mm -hmm. okay good afternoon everyone my name is Yulia I'm a first year student of uh, food technology uh, the topic of my presentation is apple house cafe uh, let me introduce let me introduce uh, you to my outline the first is location and architecture second is interior menu, benefits of apples, and let's start. Uh, the first is, uh, the first let's talk about location and architecture. Uh, I, I would like to have a cafe in the city center and near the park. What about architecture? Um, it's, uh, it will be a um, light green colored house, uh, in the shape of an apple and with a lot of window and all windows are round. Uh, the second point is interior. Uh, the, main, the main ideas uh, is uh, a lot of yellow and green details, uh, the aroma of fresh apples inside the house, inside the cafe, and a lot of uh, windows and light. The third uh, point is menu. Uh, I would like to have uh, a dish. I would like to have dishes with that uh, that will be consist of uh, apples. Uh, that will be include apples. Uh, for example, it it may be uh, apple tart, uh, apple strudel, or roses from apples. And the last point is um, six reasons to eat apples. The first, uh, apples contain pectin, soluble fiber. A bright apple peel is a source of flavonoids, compounds that have antioxidant effects. The third is apples reduce the symptoms of asthma and Alzheimer's disease. Apples in the diet reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Apples help keep our heart and blood wells, 
vessels healthy. And the last uh, is apples prevent overweighting, overeating and help maintain a normal weight. So today we spoke about Apple House Cafe and about its location and architecture, interior, menu and benefits of eating apples. Thank you for your attention and you are welcome to, you are, you are invited to ask questions. Uh, thank you very much, Yulia, especially for, you know, for some information about the uh, health values of uh, apples. Guys, I uh, consider that it's very, uh, you know, helpful for you and you need to follow uh, Yulia's advice. Uh, why eating apples? Okay, any questions, please? Not question, but maybe some feedback. I will be your first client, I promise you, because it's really a very interesting project. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, ladies. You see, today your intention was not to find clients for your business, but it, it happens that with your first presentation, you get your first clients. Thank you, Yulia. Thank you very much. Uh, right now, I invite uh, Taya Popovich. Taichka, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Welcome. Can you see? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So, good morning everyone and welcome to my presentation. So, the subject of my talk is setting up a translation agency. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Taisia Popovich uh, and uh, I am a student of Poltava University of Economics and Trade. I am a prospective philologist. I am in my second year. The main goals of this presentation are to inform you how efficient translation agency in work, agencies work, to persuade that getting started a translation agency is easy and profitably, and to explain what you should strive for if you want to set up a successful agency. In my presentation, I will focus on five major issues. First, I'll give you a brief overview of what is translation agency. Uh, then I'll talk about existing kind of translation agencies. After that, uh, I'd like to show you an important function of translation agency is project management. Uh, then we look at cutting edge uh, translation technologies. And finally, I persuade uh, that getting started in a trans translation agency is easy. It will take about five minutes to cover these issues. So let me start with some general information about translation agency. A translation agency is an organization that supplies translation services, translates speech or writing into a different language, manages a translation project for clients, and provides uh, interpreters, multilingual desktop publishing, and other language-related services such as website translation and software translation. So now we come to the next point. There are two major type of translation agencies. Uh, single language vendors who usually only translate the text into one language and uh, multilingual vendors who translate into different languages at the same time. Historically, multilingual vendors uh, used to be larger companies who would often subcontract uh, out the translation work to single language vendors. However, uh, with the rise of digital platforms, multilingual vendors can also be small teams or even individuals. Uh, so the first thing you need to decide is whether you want to go after the uh, smaller single language vendors uh, market or the larger uh, multilingual vendors market. 
Uh, the format choice might be preferred if you are well versed in the source and target language of your cho choice uh, and want uh, to have a tight control over the quality of the translation. Uh, if, on the other hand, you want to consider your translation businesses uh, as a business rather than vocation, it might be better uh, for you to go after the multilingual translation market. Let's turn to the next issue. Uh, an important function of a translation agency is project management. By, the light, by and large, uh, this is what the client pays, pays you for, and not for the actual translation. After all, they can easily order a translation from a freelancer and, it, and uh, it would be considerably cheaper. Oddly enough, uh, translation agencies do not sell translations, they sell a service. The agency is represented by their project managers and if you want clients uh, to work with you for many years, uh, your translation project managers should make uh, an excellent impression. Uh, turn our attention now to cutting-edge translation technologies. For decades, uh, translation companies have been using special software that improves work efficiency. CAD tools uh, using translation memory technologies, terminology management systems, quality controls and monitoring systems, specially trained machine translation engines, project and businesses management systems such as Protemos, text editors, layout programs and converters, self-written programs, scripts and microservices for process automation. Uh, even experienced companies uh, constantly have to uh, learn how to use new technologies and for beginners this takes months, if, you, if uh, not years. However, working without these programs is like blowing a field uh, with a horse when you have a tractor sitting by the gate. Uh, it is impossible to learn how to use all these programs at once and uh, it is not even necessary. The ability to quickly adapt to the technical requirements of each new client is important. But even if your clients do not have special requirements for software, you should still learn how to use such programs in order to increase your speed and profitability. So now we come to the last point. It is uh, very easy to get started. Uh, you just need uh, a computer, email address, website, and register legal entity. Uh, you can even uh, skip a point of this list, but if you are serious about making your business work, appearances are important to draw uh, in potential clients. All of the above can be done quickly, and there you go, you have uh, your own agency, just like that. Uh, you only need to take the decision. If you are thinking, I cannot open an agency, this is probably just your perception rather than actual reality. The real problems will start later. Okay, in brief, there are several advantages and disadvantages. The first advantage of setting up a translation agency is that startup costs allow. Uh, and possibility of working via the internet. Having a broad target market, including legal, commercial, medical, technical editing, interpretation, and more growing demand for translators in our global community. An individual working allowed to earn a lot of profit. The negative points uh, include understanding slang, colloquialism, and even cultural norms of the region that language is used in. Computerized translation programs and voice recognition technology are required need to be available during vacations. So the advantage are far more than the disadvantage. I'd like to end with a summary of the main points. Uh, it is uh, easy to, to open a translation agency, but it is much uh, more difficult to set up uh, an agency that is stable and efficient. Uh, you need to hire and train uh, 
Our employees use modern software, build relationships with clients, and gain credibility among them. The head of a successful company should be prepared to work for years to achieve this. Thank you for your attention. If you have uh, any question, you can ask me. Uh, thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, so, uh, any, uh, any questions? You are invited to give some feedback if you want to, please. I am. I guess it's a very good idea and uh, I want to thank you for this presentation. Thank you. Okay, and I want to ask a question. Uh, do you personally want to launch such kind of business? Uh, yes, I think I, uh, it is possible to set this uh, company, but as I said, uh, it, uh, to uh, to set up uh, an agency that is stable and efficient, uh, you should work uh, a lot and um, uh, your relationship with clients uh, should be in a high level. Okay, thank, you. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. Thank you for your presentation, Taya. Uh, now I invite uh, Evgenia Semenyaka. Genia, are you ready to present? Yes, I'm ready. So you're invited. Okay, thank you. So can you see my presentation? Yes, we can. Okay. <clears throat> so my name is Eugenia Semenyaka. I'm from Poltava University of Economic and Trade from Group Field 21. And today I'm going to introduce you my idea about travel agency. The idea is simple, but with a little extra bonus as providing a guide interpreter. So we will look through basic information about this agency, why is it special, and conclusion. Uh, first of all, the name of the agency is Come With Me, because we are not sending you somewhere alone, we are inviting you to travel together. But together with who? Who is guide interpreter? As an official, gui as, uh, an official guide license set, uh, guide interpreter, those who receive compensation and provide interpreter guidance, the act of accompanying foreign nationals and providing travel-related guidance in the foreign language. Simple, a person who travels with you and helps to communicate with foreigners. Also, the one thing that we are proud about in our agency, that we are able to make a contact with almost every country at our planet. So here you can see all the available countries to travel. Also, this chart shows the most requested countries for travel, the green one and the least red one in 2019. Groups. If you are interested, would it be able to travel with no group, just you alone and our expert? The answer is yes. We are providing the tours for, for a different amount of people included. And also, if a group would be 10 plus travelers, we are providing you with one extra guide. And if you are still hesitating and you are not sure about our trustworthy, you can visit our office and talk with our amazing agents and you will change your mind definitely. Thank you for your attention. Just come with me and have the best time in your life. And do remember that travel opens your heart, broadens your mind and fills your life with stories to tell. So thank you very much for your interesting idea uh, any questions any feedback so i may ask a question welcome uh, thank you for your presentation uh, uh it's i have not positive question if the current situation will will keep on stable i mean all these restrictions with the covid with the pandemic uh will you have a second plan how will you transform your idea oh i think we are really looking forward for changing this situation because uh, all we know that we are all tired of the situation and i hope we would be able to travel more and all abroad will open and um, Mm, I don't actually know because <laughs> we are just hoping for the best. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your optimism. 
uh, well, we all are tired of being, you know, sitting locked. Uh, hopefully, this idea will have a very good prospect in future. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, the next presenter is Maxim Belekiz. Max, you are invited. And uh, Tamila, Tamila, uh, you, you will be the next. Get ready, please, okay? Max, uh huh. Can you see it? Yes, we see it. So, hello everyone. My name is Max. Uh, I'm a student at the University of Economics and Trade. I'm a fourth year student. My major is International Business Relations. Today I would like uh, to share with you my idea exclusive profit service. So, uh, here you can see my outline of my presentation. Uh, first chapter, general meaning of coffee in people's lives. Uh, second, my idea in general. So, why I chose this idea was what people get from this idea and in the end I will summarize a small summary of everything that has been said. Uh, so let's start. Uh, meaning of coffee in people's lives. Coffee is one of the most popular and ancient drinks in the world. Millions of people start the idea with a cup of coffee, with milk, sugar, cold water, lemon and even salt. Its extraordinary taste and aroma gives uh, rise to real coffee money. Coffee is more than a dream. Coffee is the art of delight. Uh, more and more coffee lovers appear these days and they are becoming more demanding of the drink that the barista will prepare for them. Therefore, there are a lot of uh, and new varieties of coffee processes for preparing coffee beans, drinks, but serving remains in the old style. Usually coffee is served in ceramic dishes or plastic cups. When ordering a drink, people usually want to cheer up and get a pleasant emotion from coffee drinking. But if people receive the same thing every day, they will quickly get bored. So mm -hmm. let's move to the next sl uh, slide. Uh, generally about my idea. Uh, my idea is a coffee shop in which coffee will be served in waffle cups with waffle products and produce. For example, the face of the person who ordered the drink. My idea modernizes uh, the conventional understanding of coffee drinking so, uh, since the waffle cups will be very convenient and also edible. Uh, in a way, uh, people will get a coffee drink and a dessert in one. And the unearthly latte art will be a kind of art that will give instant positive emotion to a person who orders a drink. Uh, what is uh, the advantage of such coffee houses? Uh, the coffee industry is very popular all over the world, uh, somewhere more, somewhere less. Accordingly, the competition in this area is very high. In order to be more successful than competitors, you need to surprise buyers with something. This can be a type of coffee preparation or serving. In my case, I'm betting on a perfect presentation. Also, the coffee houses will have wonderful staff who will be, very, uh, who will be happy to do their job especially people with a great desire to make the lives of those around them better. Uh, the deep meaning of such uh, coffee houses. Uh, we have already talked about the outer shell of creating this type of coffee shop, but now it's time to expand the understanding of what exactly I want to achieve with the help of such coffee houses with a completely different serving of coffee drinks. First of all, I would like to repeat and possibly improve the history of Starbucks coffee shops. The main idea of these coffee houses is to make people talk about our coffee houses anytime, anywhere, so that when people talk about our coffee, they draw. So that you, uh, our coffee houses remain uh, in the hearts of people for a long time, so that people come to our coffee shops and at the first sip of our fine drinks, forget about all the problems and be in a state of relaxation. Why I choose this idea? 
I choose this particular idea because I'm obsessed with coffee. I have a lot of experience in the coffee industry and after many years I just fell in love with the coffee culture. I have a big dream to connect my business with coffee uh, in the future. I consider my idea to be very banal, but at the same time useful both for a person who drinks coffee and for nature, because coffee drinking will not harm nature as it happens now. Plastic cups are not recycled and do not unfold over time. Therefore, they bring great harm to our environment. In my opinion, the most important thing is for a startup to benefit both people and environment. I believe that my idea will fulfill both. Uh, what people will get from this idea? People will get a completely different effect from the first cup of coffee they drink from a waffle cup. My idea will bring the coffee industry back to its former glory and I have hope that it will take the coffee industry to a whole new level. Uh, so, short uh, conclusion. Today I have shared uh, my idea about uh, coffee shops of new time. I brought up some facts from the coffee industry. I presented an idea and explained why coffee. I really hope that my idea was interesting for you. If you have any questions, you can safely ask me. Thank you for attending. Thank you very much for your idea. Well, as for me, I am with you. Uh, this time I am going to be your first client because absolutely uh, I, I love coffee so much and uh, uh, Max I have one question are you going to locate it not far from the university or far uh, not in Poptava sorry maybe in the future after Kremenchuk because the first shop will be in my city Kremenchuk okay unfortunately you made me sad but still then I have to travel to Kremenchuk to taste your coffee okay thank you any other questions or feedback Okay, thank you very much, Max, for your presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Tamila, Tamila Tikhamirska is invited. Um, I have some problems, so I would like to ask Anastasia for help. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tychomirska Tamila. I'm a philology student. So today I would like to tell you why you won through grade taking part in the Creative Spark English Club. Well, the first thing I will speak about is the theme of classes. The second is teamwork. And the last one is Creative Spark English Club is a family. My presentation will take less than five minutes. So let's start. <clears throat> the topics of the classes were different. It was very interesting because such topics were never discussed in my major classes. We talked a lot about the future. For example, <clears throat> social innovation, self-repair tech, the web at 30, and talking about careers. There were also many useful details that will help run a business in the future. Speaking about teamwork, I couldn't say I liked it before, but with time I recognized that uh, it's not as bad as I thought, and now it's my favorite activity during class. Firstly, teamwork is funny and people share with you their ideas. Secondly, you can solve the problem faster because you work not alone. <clears throat> Now we are moving to the last point. Creative Spark English Club is a family because <clears throat> you can find a lot of friends. Students here are kind and friendly and uh, the teacher is adorable and she explained everything that was not clear. <clears throat> I'm very glad I didn't miss the opportunity to join. <clears throat> In summary, I can say that this program helps to fight the fear of speaking in public because in the beginning, all of my group mates were strangers. It was hard for me to speak because I was shy. <clears throat> in addition, I have learned to get along better with people and uh, I gained a lot of knowledge and uh, learned many useful words. Thank you for your attention. Any questions?
Thank you very much for your presentation. It was not a presentation of a new idea, but a presentation of an experience. And uh, thank you for sharing this experience and your emotions. Uh, we really became a creative spark team and family. Oh, well, thank you very much. Any feedback, any questions? Uh, yeah, or uh, I only can say that I fully agree with Tamil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to add to that I also completely agree. And I also think that our work was uh, wonderful and useful. And uh, I hope that in my future I will also have the opportunity to join some of such projects. Well, guys, you know, this is not the last presentation, but you nearly made me cry, you know, <laughs> because so, guys, we are a family. That means we don't say goodbye. We will uh, communicate and probably uh, if you need help, we will do some projects together, right? Mm -hmm. So thank you very much, Tamila. And right now I invite Lisa Livoshko. Uh, welcome, Lisa. Um, hi everyone, um, do you hear me or not? Yes, we hear you, please speak. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, hello, my name is uh, Elizabeth Livoshka. I'm a fourth year student major in Anthropology, group field 42. And I would like uh, to introduce you to my imaginary, remember this word, <laughs> a localization agency model. And before I begin, I would like to thank you for listening to me. Don't worry, it takes about five minutes. Um, okay. Well, uh, I think it's worth to explain you what the word localization means. Shortly, localization is a translation and cultural adaptation of a product to the characteristic of a particular country, region, or population group. Wikipedia gives us a very precise definition of this concept, so I hope you understand its essence. Um, so, what exactly does our agency do? Um, uh, our agency can offer you its services in the localization of computer games, comics, or manga and mobi mobile uh, applications uh, into Ukrainian. Uh, the translation of these products uh, into our native language is not very successful in our country since uh, most foreign uh, games uh, and comics or mobile applications uh, are translated into Russian and uh, the Ukrainians are successfully content with this. Um, Unfortunately, piracy is a big problem in our country. Consumers are not ready to pay money uh, for products. So uh, game uh, developers, for example, are in a hurry to localize their products into Ukrainian. Since their work will not pay off uh, uh, so in, our, in our country. However, recently we have seen some progress in terms of Ukrainian localiz localization. So we believe that Ukrainian localization is a very promising niche. Every year has a demand uh, for the Ukrainian language uh, in games and comics and uh, mobile application is growing and it means uh, that people want to support uh, the Ukrainian market and uh, language in particular and we want it to. But uh, why exactly moral agency you ask? First of all, uh, we offer a high level of service. Competing on the global market in such a highly competitive niche, it's not enough to provide just quality translation. Um, it is a politeness, uh, tact, and speed of response to inquiries uh, that are the foundation of, for us to build long term uh, relationships uh, with the client. Uh, when ordering a uh, translation from Marvel Agency, uh, you can be sure of um, respectful attitude, full uh, compliance with agreements and high quality of services. Uh, Marvel provides uh, services all over the world. We provide translation services both in 
uh, not only in Ukrainian, but in English, German, French, and East, and uh, in 28 uh, other languages uh, of the world. We are a, a customer-oriented company. For us, uh, the order is not considered completed until the client is completely satisfied. Uh, we use soft technology. We use uh, linguistic software to automate internal process, uh, create terminological databases and uh, glossaries. We don't use machine translation. Our team consists of only professional uh, translators with uh, extensive experience in translation in the, their field. Uh, accordingly, translation are carried, uh, carried out, uh, carried out uh, by people and uh, not by machine. Uh, free test translation to ensure their high standards and uh, quality of the service as uh, provided. You can order a test translation up to 100 words after you are convinced uh, that we, are, uh, we will cope with the task. Uh, we will make you an uh, advantageous uh, offer and provide you with a discount uh, on orders uh, over 30,000 words. And it's about uh, 120 pages. As I said, uh, only professional translators work with us. You can see the general managers of the three departments on the floor. And uh, finally, uh, some more inter interesting information about us. Uh, we have been on the market for four years, um, have uh, uh, 800 um, clients, have translated about 3 million words, and uh, completed about uh, 2,700 projects. As you can see, we are quite successfully developing in this niche, and naturally we would like you to become our client and uh, please support the Ukrainian market. Welcome to uh, Moral Agency and uh, thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Lisa. I have the question. Whether your uh, idea is a reality or only an idea? Uh, for, uh, for this moment, it's uh, uh, like uh, just just idea, but uh, it's not bad idea, and uh, maybe uh, anyone wants <laughs> to create this uh, this agent. You Why can uh, take it an idea. <laughs> Why not? Well, uh, aren't you afraid of competitors? Because you know, today we've already heard about some translation agencies, probably. Uh, the competition is very severe. Yes. yes that's uh -huh. true. So that's why you need to think about some unique features for your translation agency to, you know, to withstand this competition, to be competitive. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Every, uh, every, everyone, um, I guess, um, uh, love to play and read and it's cool when you can do it in Ukrainian and uh, uh, our agency can uh, make a funny translation uh, i love exaggerated uh, ukrainian for example instead uh, oh my god uh, it can be translated as uh, oil ale or uh, oilishenko that's uh, cute and makes uh, you smile yes <laughs> absolutely thank you any other questions okay no uh, so, thank you very much, Lisa. Uh, right now, uh, I invite the next participant. Uh, Irina Murzina is invited. Please, Irina. Yeah, hi, everybody. Today, I want to briefly tell you about my uh, idea. Mm -hmm. Can you hear my screen? Yeah, we see your screen, Marina. We see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my business idea. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Arina Murzina, and uh, I'm a first year student of uh, Poltava University of Economics and Trade. And uh, I'm going to introduce and present my business idea to you. 
Uh, I'm running my own small online shop in Instagram, Lowly Shop UA. Uh, it suggests uh, accessories and uh, jewelries for modern day girls and women. Now you see a business card of the store in front of you. Why does this idea come to my mind? Uh, jewelry is often viewed as a fashion accessory for completing an outfit. Most ladies, uh, regardless uh, of the age, tend to be fashionable. And uh, I'm also not an ex um, <coughs> exception at all. Uh, even a small accessory of jewelry can make a girl or a woman feel confident and beautiful. The face of my Instagram uh, uh, is my uh, lovely pug Lola. She feels always beautiful, self-confident and unique. Uh, that's why funny pugs are uh, depicted on the business card. Uh, I suggest to uh, buy the accessories of new style and design the and the make it place earrings, nails, uh, brushes, pins, and stickers. Uh, when you wear our jewelry, you will never feel dull and under uh, dressed. Our mottos feel confident and beautiful. Be remembered. Know that uh, confident is a key to life. Why should clients uh, choose our shop? Because we have tasty prices, design with love, uh, available now, and uh, a collection of delivery is here. Um, now I have some um, Hello Arina Yeah I'm here sorry Oh uh -huh. connection yeah. connection um uh so what I ah okay uh, now I have some customers reviews and uh, page in Instagram so thank you for your attention okay thank you for your presentation Marina thank you uh, so ladies and gentlemen any questions any feedback I I want to say something welcome um, that's uh, not a question, that's uh, just um, feedback. Um, I would like to, um, to do offer if it, uh, it, if it is a real project. Yes, it is a real, a real um, shop, yeah, in Instagram. Uh, Arina, your mic is muted. Sorry. Uh, yes, it's a real project. Uh, yeah, I really have this page in Instagram, and that's, after that's, work, that's, that's, that's uh, really cute. Uh, that's cute. Can you repeat, please? Very cute job. Work. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Uh, as I understand, is your own business? Yes. And uh, what is about your target audience? Uh, who is your? Who are your customers? And uh, one uh, question also, um, once more. And um, uh, what about price of your uh, goods? How much does it cost? Uh, my audience is uh, like a thirteen years old school children, uh, school children, and uh, some students. Uh, that's uh, uh, girls, uh, women's, uh, uh, and uh, price. Um, um, I have a average, средняя, правильно? Average price is like a, like 50 30 grivenas 
that's not a big price. Yes, 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 thank you. Thank you very much, Irina, thank you. Uh, just now, uh, Victorova Valeria is invited. Lera, please. Yeah, mm -hmm. a second. Do you see everything, yes? I'm sorry, Bandarenka Alexei, get ready, please. Do you see my screen? Yes, we do. We see the screen, please. Okay. My name is Valeria Viktorov. I'm a second year philology student, and today I'm going to talk about coffee shop startup, Coffee Point. My speech will only take five minutes. Feel free asking about questions after. We will have a real this, our original concept, then with the main steps to success, advantages, disadvantages, and finally, we will move to the conclusion. Firstly, I want to emphasize the importance of concept of any business. Our main goal is to create cozy atmosphere, comfortable area for working and reading. I want customers to experience emotional connection to our vibe. Secondly, we will look through the main steps to successful coffee shop. We find we need to find a good location with reasonable rent. We're seeking for a downtown area and we are ready for a high rent and we will recoup the prices. When opening a coffee shop, we need to consider that our con uh, customers will seek for good quality products. We want to, to do our best. Our main goals are serving the finest fresh roasted beans and to buy a high quality espresso machine and related equipment such as grinders, water filtration systems, etc. Excellent customer service is essential for any successful business, especially in the food service industry. So we will provide one. Finding the right baristas to our place is a good um, example of this. Sur uh, surveys have shown that most people believe atmosphere is one of the biggest attractions to the coffee. Uh, when opening a coffee shop, having the right atmosphere is a key, key to attracting customers that like to hang out with friends or business associ associates and consume additional products. Our atmosphere is clean and bright with a plenty of natural light, some plants and comfortable sitting place. Advantages of opening a coffee shop are definitely its profits. The objective of any business is to make profits and starting a cave business is a sure way of generating revenue. The business helps you to create your own shuttle, so it's more convenient. Essential adva advantage is to be part of the community. Coffee is a social drink, so it's bring people together. Furthermore, it's a sense of satisfaction. Success is not measured on how much you earn, but the satisfaction of is what you get in doing what you want to do. When you start a coffee business, you get an opportunity to work from your heart and not for the money, you get a million and one reasons to be happy. Last but not least, the disadvantages. They're firstly time consuming. Starting a cave business requires a concrete planning and writing a business plan, which takes time and efforts. It's too much of work. When planning to start a coffee business, you must understand that you will be the boss and everything will start and end with you. You make your own decisions, delegate responsibilities, and enjoy all the profits and losses on your own. Also, it's expensive for the taking. To start up, cost is high, and produce and equipment and licensing are all expensive. That means that you will either be forced to use all your life savings or borrow in order to open your dream coffee shop. In conclusion, I would like to emphasize that as any business, it's hard work. It's totally worth it. Uh, it will help you to fulfill your vision, uh, help you to share your passion with others, bring your community together, and most importantly, you will make good money. Thank you for your attention and feel free to ask questions if you have any. Thank you very much for your presentation and for your idea. I guess uh, that uh, there are many coffee lovers here in this group 
because today we hear one more idea of uh, uh, coffee point. Uh, so uh, I have a question. Uh, aren't you afraid of competition, dear? Uh, yeah, there is a lot of competition on the market, but uh, if to create a reasonable price, also a good atmosphere and a good quality coffee, uh, the people will be there, the customers will reach us and I think everything will be all right. Okay, any more questions? Do you want to say something? Okay. Thank you very much, Valeria. Right now, I invite uh, Bandarenka Alexei. Yeah, just a second. Can you see it? Yes, yes, we we'll okay. see. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Alexei Bandarenka, and I'm a second year philology student, and today I'm going to talk about healthy food delivery startup. Um, yeah. My report will consist of five parts. First one is introduction. Second one is the main features of delivery. Thirdly, I will tell about advantages, then disadvantages, and finally conclusion. Uh, my speech will take five minutes, uh, and I feel comfortable about asking questions after. Firstly, I want to emphasize the importance of healthy food nowadays. In our modern world, people overcame many obstacles, and often you don't know not, you don't have too much time. Uh, to stand at the stove and cook your own food. That's why our delivery is the best option for you. Secondly, the main features of delivery is convenient app for the customers, adding food to cart and shading on orders, conveyance of food as fast as possible and easy payment and etc. Also in connection with the COVID-19 pandemic, our company resorted to precautions such as contactless delivery, reinforced cleaning and safety measures in our facilities in compliance with all quarantine regulations. Um, as for advantages, first and, and most essential one is convenience. Customers can order their favorite comfort food from the couch while binging the latest Netflix show and having it delivered right to their front door. Second one is the healthier delivery options. Online ordering means more choices. Third, but not least, you save your time. And it also gives you a lot of business opportunities. Talking about disadvantages, I could highlight uh, waiting time due to various incidents. The order may be delayed. Uh, also, it's killing the vibe. Eating food in a restaurant gives you its own special atmosphere, which is lost in regular delivery. And finally, it will be more expensive. Customers are typically subject to fees when ordering through an online delivery service, in addition to the cost of the food. In conclusion, I just want to say that food delivery systems are very convenient. The food is ordered, delivered, and consumed. There are no struggling to remember ingredients in the house or trying to pour over recipes uh, and make grocery lists. A food delivery systems are perfect for busy individuals who do not have time to shop every week. Um, thank you for your attention, and I feel free to ask your questions if you have any of them. Okay, thank you very much, Alexei, for your presentation, a very interesting one. And I should say, this, in my opinion, this presentation, this idea is interesting, especially of present day situation. Uh, so, any questions, any comments? Uh, yes, it's very interesting uh, idea, uh, and uh, today is very popular um, uh, healthy food. It's really very uh, interesting and important for consumers. Uh, my question is, uh, who will be your suppliers? I mean, uh, where uh, will you buy uh, products for your dishes? Um, my suppliers will be... I don't know, maybe farmers or some some um, companies which supply uh, eco products, which uh, really in need from from a company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you know something about organic uh, farming? Uh, sure. It's maybe also interesting idea for your. Project. Yeah, that's a great idea. Thank you. May, may Thank you for the question. Yeah. Uh, what types of cuisines can you offer? Uh, sorry, could you repeat? 
Uh, what types of cuisines can you offer? Uh, it will be a commonly Ukrainian cuisine or yeah, in common it will be a Ukrainian one. Okay. So guys, do you have any questions or comments? So thank you very much for everyone. Lyosha was the last presenter for today. Uh, actually, uh, two students were not able to join our conference. They participated, but uh, you know, because of some uh, technical and personal problems, they were not able to join this conference. Hopefully, they will be better and will be okay. Uh, right now, uh, I would like to inform all of the participants that you will be awarded certificates uh, for completion of this uh, uh, Creative Spark English Club. Congratulations. You will, uh, your certificates will be sent to you uh, on your email addresses uh, during two working days. Guys, that doesn't mean that you will get your certificates on Sunday, but uh, you will get, a, get them uh, I hope uh, Tuesday. Do you understand me? So, and you know, I feel a little bit sad because uh, this, from the one hand, uh, this is a great event when we heard people speaking, sharing ideas. But on the other hand, uh, you know, our classes are over, and I feel a little bit sorry for that but i do hope uh, that we will meet again and again uh, with new ideas with new projects and creative spark is forever in our lives right yeah okay so, uh, dear ladies and gentlemen uh, are there any people who want to share ideas uh, to to say some final words uh, please, you are invited, everyone that wants to say something. Okay, no more words. I say a few words. Uh, so there are a lot of interesting ideas today. Uh, the most important is it is the initiative. It is uh, those facts that you are interested in, uh, in some ventures, in, interested in in launching your business in exploring some information uh, and uh, despite of will you implement your project or will it uh, remain just an idea it's uh, a valuable experience for you because you train your business skills you train your um, you, you expand your mindset and this experience uh, this knowledge which you get in this uh, English club uh, I, I'm sure that it will help you in uh it will uh contribute to your value on labor market or to your skills uh, like entrepreneurs so good luck for you thank you um if you don't mind uh i would like to uh, yes uh, also uh i would i would like to take my uh, feedback um guys yeah i i'm sure that you know about pareto law you know that uh, 20 people uh, 20 percent of people act and 80 persons of uh, people wait uh, i suppose that you are 20 persons of people who act who change this world and who are leaders uh, i uh, wish you uh, all of the best good luck guys you're really well done thank you very much <laughs> I'd like to add also a few words. That's um, thank, thank to you. It was your presentations were very inspirational, and uh, we've seen that you during your lessons you learned not only speaking English, not only how to communicate your ideas, but you started to generate your ideas, which is a good sign. As Alexander said, that maybe not all your ideas will come to life but this is the first step for you. It is great that you've started to generate uh, 
to generate them, that you are starting to think of different things of how, what your unique selling points, how, who will be your consumers, how you're going to, uh, to deal in different, with different challenges. Uh, started to think about uh, risks, risks and opportunities. This is a good sign. And so it means that uh, further, as you develop your, this idea or other ideas, you will already have, have a set of tools uh, to work on these ideas, how to implement them into real life. So this is uh, a great sign. Good luck to you all in, uh, in what you do, in how you continue uh, using what you've learned during these classes. And um, I hope, I think you will achieve a lot because from what I've seen today, you have already achieved uh, things. And I believe that you will achieve much more in your life. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, may I say something? Uh, on behalf of the whole group, uh, taking advantage of uh, uh, the fact that uh, Yulia is present here, I would like to express uh, our gratitude for such an opportunity to be together and work together to develop, to learn, uh, to get new ideas. Uh, please send the uh, best wishes to British Council from Poltava Creative Spark, you know, and uh, special thanks to, to the developer of this course, Rob uh, Lewis, uh, because uh, all the materials that he has provided uh, were useful and uh, supportive. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you too. Okay. Uh, if uh, if uh, anyone wants to say something, you have this opportunity. I want to say that uh, today uh, there were a lot of uh, exciting ideas and I was glad to meet uh, everyone and uh, thank you to Valentina Leonidovna to very interesting classes. Thank you. So guys, and we, we had a lot of uh, food-related ideas, it's very nice, and I wish uh, these ideas to come true some days. Definitely, keeping fingers you. crossed, you know, all your ideas will come true. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I am very sad to pronounce these words, but I have to. So, uh, thank you, everyone, and... Uh, have a nice weekend. Hope to see you in reality in the university and uh, hope to hear from you in our uh, Telegram group. Good luck to everyone. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much for all these classes. We, are, we were happy to work with you. Yeah, the main goal for today, not cry. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So no one wants to leave, yeah? Uh -huh. <laughs> but, so, but we have to. So thank you very much. Enjoy your evening and enjoy your weekend. And don't forget, uh, uh, take care, wash your hands, wear masks, stay at home, please. Okay. Okay, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Bye. 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 Bye.